Hey Raj, it's me again. Well, this could be the last time. They know where I live. Chances are the next time I see you, it's gonna be on the other side. Actually on second thought, now that I think about it, I'm not that sure I'll even make it to heaven. I've got a lot of debilly blood on my hands. Anyways, I just- Hey, hey over here. <laughs> I must be going crazy man, I, I swear I can hear you right now. You idiot Sinza, look behind you. Wait, Raj? What the fuck? Look I'll explain everything, in fact, I am surprised you didn't figure it out. Come on, this is the Billy we are talking about. They have horrible accuracy. The bullet grazed my head. But, but, I buried you, I put you in the ground, six feet under. You put something that looked like me in the ground, not me. When you left, and the coast was clear, I switched the bodies, and ever since have been gathering intel on the Billy. Well, shit Raj, that's amazing news, I mean, when this is all over, you and I are going to grab a drink. Yes sure, why not, but not now, now it's business. Look I can't be out long, and neither should you because I know when Debili plans to launch their attack. Alright man, I mean, hit me, uh, they know where I live, so I need all the advantages I can get. Believe it or not, it's coming sooner than you think, within the next hour. Oh, uh, that's, that's when I was planning on hitting them, uh, I mean, I, I, be, I better get back. Uh, it was nice seeing you, you know, not dead and all, and yeah, I mean, uh, I'll see you later, uh, bye, yeah. Alright boys, we got the Stegos, check, scuba gear, check, transport, check. Now we know we haven't been the kindest leader, destroying your homes, destroying you, but today, today we get the solo. That sneaky son of a gun Raj. Raj was alive this entire time working in the shadows. He'd given me a very crucial piece of intel, when Dabili was going to attack. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Solo's Endgame. Please make sure to leave a like and sub as it really helps me out a lot. And last but not least, enjoy the video. Alright, time to add the final touches to the wall. Oh, we got, oh, we got company. We got company. Hold up, I'm just finishing up the wall, boys. Let's get the flippers on. Let's get the grapples out. What's on neutral? Oh my, good single saddles. Oh boy, I just got his kit. Another one bites the dust. Oh my, car, Stego. Look at this Stiggles, what 40k HP? What the? I'm gonna leave this, uh.
This body here, it's sort of a slinocyte nicely. Can't quite get my Sonoma crops. Oh, there we go. Wow! Are these, like, neutered? No, it's not even neutered, bro! What? I think they're logging off soon, so they try to make an attempt to raid me. We just got really good Stego Saddles, but these Stego Saddles I'm going to treasure like like it's gold. I'm not sure what HP this male is, but we're going to find out. We just got a massive upgrade on our Stiggle thanks to these guys. Our females pop at 62 HP, or not our females, but our line usually. What are these? 43 HP, 43 HP. I think that's still the same. I don't think we got the good HP on those. We might have, I don't know. I still had yet to find out. But one thing you should definitely find out about is my PlayStation Arc servers. They've finally been created, and if you want to participate in the upcoming wipe, or the giveaway for a PlayStation, then make sure to join the Discord. The link to join is in the description below. I need to depot this gear and head outside to see what damage have they done. They haven't destroyed any spam, which is good. So, yeah, that means like they won't have a farm outside or anything. What's their flak like? Yeah, they got good gauntlets. Uh, they got like similar boots to us, actually. But other than that, they don't have much. Arthropleura, which is nice. This combo, oh, they have a combo BP. This is my stick, alright? No, uh, yeah, I just crowded. Uh, I'm not actually using that for the raid, so I'll put this back here. We just got another car though. Please tell me it's a male. No way! Oh, it's neutered though! They are the one take that, okay. Ah, we could have been breed, breeding cars actually. Alright, let's go outside. Alright, let's uh. Let's do some recon. See if they have any tapes outside or anything like that. So the armor is very similar to mine. We both have decent gauntlets, crappy boots, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything outside. I don't know if you can get batteries. I need to. I don't think you can get batteries on Lost Island. I, I, I need to do research to find that out because if it's possible, we can set up a bat heavy behind these guys. Literally just swap behind them, get it set up. Yeah, these turrets shot a bit. With a good side, I mean, half our wall is almost actually soaked. Not fully. Some turrets I don't think shot. Yeah, the turrets on Thames. They shot quite a lot. I'm gonna leave their bodies here so it's hard for them to see. What's the decompose timer? Yeah. Now it's just going to be tough for them to see what's going on. I can't afford to let them... I'm trying to think, what would be the fastest way to take them out? It's probably, it's going to be nets. It's actually, it's going to be nets. Because, but then the turrets that are on tapes are still going to shoot the Stego, no? I don't know, either way, I, th I think it is going to be good being nets. Let's find out what HP we just got. Six point two. Yeah, so we didn't get any of the new HP of, of this batch. In just one push, they almost soaked half my wall. But I wasn't the slightest worried. Not because I gained a car or a huge upgrade on my Stego line, but rather my history with them. We shared a similar offline timer, and because it was getting pretty late, I was almost certain they wouldn't launch another attack. Instead, I tried to persuade them using some reverse psychology. I'm using reverse psychology, making him think like I can't raid his base. So now they're gonna get comfortable, think, oh yeah, we can log off, he's not gonna try. <sighs> yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure what the game plan is, but we say they're gonna stay going here, right? Yo, if I had a Bloodstalker, right? Literally, all I have to do 
Bloodstalker right here. That's all I have to do. And pull. Bloodstalker and pull. Bloodstalker and pull. Bloodstalker and pull. Every single time. Oh my. Like. That's all I have to do. But I obviously don't have a Bloodstalker. Damn. This challenge, man. Limiting myself only to this map. But what I like about it. It forces me to, like, as I, as I mentioned, it, it makes me better at this map. I know so much about this map now. And I've learned so much more just in general about the game. Just doing this challenge and limiting myself only to this map. And so I'm so excited and keen for, like, future wipes. I'm, 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 not, I'm I think I'm done with rattles, to be honest with you. Nah, I'm going for caves as a solo. Maybe I'll tag along with someone, but... Yo, I, I like this life. It's fun. So, I, I mean, I haven't even experienced this as a solo before, and now that I am experiencing it, man, it's, it's, it's just tons of fun. For most of my time playing Ark as a solo, I always lean towards rattles and hidden base locations as they give a higher chance of survival. But experiencing the life of living in a more popular base location, although far more risky, for the enjoyment, the trade was well worth it. As for my reverse psychology, whether or not it worked, I still had yet to find out. Alright, this is interesting. This is Stego. Outside this base. But I don't see anyone else outside here. I like to be thorough, so to make sure these guys were really offline, I poked the bear with a rocket launcher. It seemed like the coast was clear. So I prepared all the gear I needed for the raid, and headed out. We only get one shot at this, we've prepared everything, we only get one shot, we better not mess it up. Operation number one. Upload all the tames. Operation number two. Once done uploading, well, time to move on, move out, and get that farm up. Figure out what that stego is about, why is it there, who is it belongs to, and make sure whoever it does belong to, well, they don't ever show up. And then operation number three, execute on the plan that we've been discussing this entire time. After that, well, we'll figure that out when that time comes. Right, op number one, upload terms. Done. Sorted. Sweet. Let's get out. Alright. <sighs> At least now if I die. This wasn't a good sign. Someone had killed the Stego. And it wasn't me. Well. Oh no. These guys are still online. I may have poked a bit too hard. Next time I'll use C4. But before taking any rash action. I decided to take a step back. And analyze the situation. Hello, hello. This solo is giving me trouble, and he needs sleep. Sort it out. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Right after I get some sleep myself. Alright, I've given it some thought. And... I think it's an all or nothing, you know? This guy might be online, but... I mean... I'm sick, you know, I'm not feeling the best. And... I don't, I don't, I don't think this is gonna be the best for my health to carry on like this, you know what I'm saying? So I say I give it my all. I give it everything I got. Because I, I have nothing to prove. I've destroyed these guys multiple times. I genuinely have nothing to prove to them. When my back was against the wall and I had literally no bullets in my turrets. To the point of Surviving all odds, going to raid a base in the hopes of getting loot and allowing myself to move out all the way to defending my very own. These guys online, well, 
that's that. That's just something I gotta deal with. Okay, it doesn't seem like you replaced the... At least from what I can tell, it doesn't seem like you replaced the... Club plat, or not the club plat, what if I destroy the, the dino gates and that sort of thing. From what I can tell, uh... The only thing I'll need to take with me is a basic flat kit. And then one stego. And I need to make sure to remember to leave my Sonoma crops behind. Do we have a drop right here? I'm not expecting to make it out of this one alive as I mentioned before. And I'm gonna be stuck like this for a while. I knew that was gonna happen. But yeah, as I mentioned, <coughs> these stegos, they're meant to not make it. These are just simply to soak as much as we can and then hopefully once we start soaking turrets, we can choose whether or not we want to soak moving back and forth. That's at least the game plan in my head. It is a bit unorthodox, but this is just so that my risk is low. So even though I'm gonna have to look for a drop every time I want to tame, it's, it's fine. I'll be risking far less that way. Download our Stego. Alright. Is to toss that in like that. Toss this like that. Let's see what we're dealing with. Holy moly. Yeah, but I mean, this is the main idea of the plan. It's just to... Well, you know. Do this. Sacrifice our stegos. Uh, the next one will be a bit smoother because... I should be able to hop on the stego much sooner. So that was the whole idea. Soak until eventually I could choose whether or not I wanted to. And exactly when I had come to the realization that using the stegos right now may not be the best idea. The reason I want to switch to carbo is if you think about it, this is where they're going to be most beneficial, right? It's in the, this situation right here. It's not like we're going to use the cobbles to soak the main wall. That main wall I plan on rushing with the stego. So that's the reason why I want to use cobbles now. Because this is where they will actually shine. So if we can just use them to soak as many of the turrets that are on Thames. That's going to be great. Okay, I have made boost. Oh my god. Oh no. Hang in there buddy. You got this. Come on, soak. Keep it up. Come on. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Now that is what you call a solid soak. Look at that, almost 40 seconds. That's a, a new record. That's what I like to see. Okay. You know, little small things like that that show slight progression, that's what motivates me to keep on going. That really is what motivates me. This is the big boy. We won't whoop out the big boy just yet. Yeah, well, what about Johnny? No one really likes Johnny, so... It's all cool. We just gotta wait another, not actually five minutes. A little bit less than that. All right, guys. Although we don't have that much seconds with these carbos, <laughs> we really do gotta treasure them, you know? These moments. Oh, oh, that looks painful. Ow. Yo, man, are you okay? Oh, you seem to... Oh, oh, okay, maybe... Ah... Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not that... Ah... Uh.
God damn. Right. <sighs> Moving on. Uh, we wait another five minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Turn around for me. I definitely feel like it's less turret shooting right now. Yeah, no, it's definitely less turret shooting, I swear. Yo, we actually- This is the longest it's, it's combo has soaked for me. Just don't look behind you. No way. Wow. You know, you combos can learn a thing or two from that one. I'll tell you that much. Like, yo. We're, we're, this is so nice to see that progress is being made. Isn't it a lovely feeling? A lovely sight to see and now I don't even have to wait 5 minutes, I only have to wait 2 now. And best of all, we're on to our last combo which is a bit sad but next up we got a whole line of stegos to go through so the, the party ain't over yet. In fact it's far from it. You know one thing I've been trying, I mean now that it's late at night and I'm doing this raid, you know what, okay I'll talk to you guys about it in a second. Let's, let's toss out this combo. Hey yeah, buddy. Oh. Okay, there we go. But yeah, man, I don't know. Recently, I've just been trying to figure out... Oh, let's make a bit too much noise. Recently, I've just been trying to figure out, like, life in general, man, you know? Thinking about purpose and that sort of thing. And I don't know. I guess... I've been, one thing I've been trying to work on is not really caring, you know, what other people think. I just try to be myself in the moment, present in the moment as much as possible, you know? That's like, yeah, one thing I guess I've been trying to do a lot. And... Yeah, I think I think I just need to practice it and do it more often and then it becomes more natural because... Uh, I know life is just so much more enjoyable when you can just be yourself and not really care what other people think and... You know, that's really when you will truly enjoy life, and I felt like glimpses of that, I just guess I need to practice it more. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know, that's what I've been dealing with in my recent days of life. I'm also like, working on this body transformation type thing, where... Oh, you soaked the turret, alright, wait, uh, just talking about my body transformation, but... But yeah, I've been really trying to get that six pack, man. Like, I got the upper four, but you know, I was so disciplined before with my diet. I, I wouldn't break, I'd only eat clean foods, and I'd only eat those clean foods like literally day in, day out, week to week, month to month. Yeah, man, you are doing a solid job. I must really give it to you. Wait, would, would, would it not be a smart idea to, like, actually try and heal this combo? Or should I... Nah, it's a good bit, but then it's just gonna be, like, back and forth. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should. I can give you guys some story time. So, yeah, lately I've just been, uh... You know, trying to be consistent with the diet and that, that sort of thing. And it's tough, man, I'm not lying. Like, before I was this disciplined, stoic monk rock. And, yeah, I just would eat clean foods all the time. No problem, no issue. And, like, I found it, like, 
easy and i found it quite surprised like yo how do people eat junk food like it's so easy to not do it and then recently i've fallen into like this trap of wow it's actually so hard to not even eat the junk food and to stay clean and the reason obviously i want to eat clean and healthily is just to you know reach my goals get that shredded physique and yeah that's just something i've been struggling with man and but I just gotta, I, I know I just gotta keep on trying, keep on pushing and never give up. That's like that, I don't just be consistent at not giving up, you know, that's just, that's just the way to go. Even with this ch channel, that's the way it started. Uh, the, in the beginning, there were barely results as you would expect with a brand new channel, but I just kept on pushing, kept, kept on being consistent and, you know. Here we are today, throwing combos into a base with enemies we've made. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we've we've come a long way. We've come a long way. All right, Owl has done its job. I just gotta remember, put it on, ignore group whistles, and then also gotta remember to change it back. But now I should be able to. I mean, this turtle is ready for action, man. Oh, not that much action. Not that much action. Come back, come back. <laughs> he wasn't ready for that much action. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man, okay. Well, you guys know what time it is. The final weapon. The army of Stegos. Okay. <sighs> oh, okay. I think I may have got it to that point where we can choose when and when not to sow. And if that's true, I can bring their own, their own, these guys' own saddles that they used, yeah, basically, that they used to try and I think this thing we can fit all the way through. I think it is actually just a battle of soaking. Because wait, if I move forward, that's how to stop shooting me. No way. It's just a battle of soaking. The cobbles did the difficult part. But look how much soaking. Let's just hope. I mean, that's a lot of turrets that they have. Let's just hope they don't have that many bullets. And this. I hope that they're basing the bullet. Like, they're using an ammo box. Because an ammo box doesn't distribute the bullets equally amongst all turrets. So some turrets may even be empty, I think. If. And then they just hope that it gets filled. Uh, I don't know. That's what I'm hoping, man. That turret soaked. Yo! Yeah, I can hit him. Paquita, that's what you get. That's our first taste of victory right there. I just had to kill him, didn't I? What is going on? That idiot he called is not here. My turrets, my bullets. Fuck. Wake up, you son of a bitch. Hey, now that is no way to talk to someone who's handling your dirty work. Handling my dirty work. Handling my dirty work. If you were to that, my turrets would not be shooting right now. Now go, you idiot. Okay, that's all good. My slaw just got killed. That is not good at all. I'm hoping that player runs around the corner and gets beamed by my bat hit by heavy turrets. I'm gonna have to actually tame another a whole another snow owl if I want to continue this raid. Alright, plan is now is to see if I can get a foundation outside where I'm soaking so that way people can't interrupt. And that way I can get my fob up. Uh 
Otherwise, I have made a bunch of C4 so I can take out the club plat, which should allow me to get foundations just outside. This is such an unnecessary setback. That snowball was so key because with that snowball, it had decent, like really good stamina as well. 11k. Now Helios is gonna be such a slow process. And I'm so close, but uh, it must always be something, you know. What? No way! No, you've got to be kidding me. Like it. Yeah, it's done. Uh, I hope they at least take over the raid. That's actually so unfortunate, but I, I honestly don't care. I think, I'm pretty sure th they got whatever my Maywing had, which was just a bunch of flag sets. And then they got uh, the rockets and C4 to my basic kit, but that's fine. I just hope they, they take over the raid and finish it. I am so freaky tired. I guess I'll find out tomorrow if those guys got raided. I'll just tell them, uh, please finish uh, the raid. Most of the wall is so I don't care about loot. Just want those. Guys, on. Good luck. Wish you the best. I will call it tonight. Once those guys get raided, I'm happy. I had been soaking for so long, only to get counted out of the blue. But you'll notice I wasn't angry at all. Because like all the other times where I may have gotten counted, lost a raid, and was as pissed as could be, this time was different. This time I wasn't off to loot. Those times, I were. This time, I only wanted to get the billy off the board, and that was it. Whether it was by me, or some other tribe. So all I was hoping was for this tribe to simply take over the raid. Hey, it's done, and so am I with you. Wait, but why? How will he sleep? You did not tell me who the target was. I'd be lucky if I wake up to a base tomorrow. Bye. Oh man, tribe log does not look promising. Tribe log does not look promising at all. I think these guys that called to me didn't even follow through with the raid. You've got to be kidding me, man. Like, I didn't really lose much, but it's just the f Like, how do they not follow through with the raid? Oh, that's so annoying. I thought they were actually going to take over and do something. Wow. Like the gear I lost is whatever, it's not even a big deal, but the fact that they didn't even take over the raid, they just came over to counter and they do nothing about it, 
What are you doing, man? You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, that pisses me off. The thing is, with the amount of bullets I soak though of Goofy Tribe, they are set back. That's that's the other thing. They are set so far back, you wouldn't believe. I soaked so much. They barely have bullets in the turrets. Like, barely, barely have bullets in the turrets. If I were to get counted yesterday, I would have been in that ace, bro. But, it's okay. So, now, all my turrets are okay. That's okay, that's okay. And the reason I say it's okay is because... I am actually insane enough to... Say, you know what? I'm going again. I am preparing another army. I was furious. I mean, to soak for countless hours whilst being extremely ill, only to get counted and find out that the counters did not even make an attempt to take out the Billy when they were so close to being raided, it simply did not make any sense. And the reason why was because those guys were the Billy's former backup. The ace in the hole, or at least used to be. You see, because of the Billy's lack of transparency in the agreement, You did not tell me who the target was. I'd be lucky if I wake up to a base tomorrow. Bye. Those guys were no longer their backup, and instead of using my fury in pointless action, I directed it towards forward moving production, raising Thames to soak whatever bullets the Billy had. Left. I think Bukita is just going hard far because when you the thing is when you wake up and you see that all of your turrets are are soaked like he woke up man that, okay 67 68 HP so I'm just gonna name this M68 HP this will become the new breeder male and this will become the new breeder female when you wake up and you see your turrets all soaked man like you're done it, there's no two ways about it, it's like, what? You're just like, what? Okay, I was raising Thames, but also fantasizing about how scared the Billy may be. But there was one issue. You see, because the Billy no longer had their henchmen, that meant that they would have to cover their own offline timer. So when I headed over to their base, expecting them to be offline, in truth, I was in store for a rude awakening. Now uh, we're actually back to this. I'm curious to see how just how much bullets they have now though. No, nah, that's not okay, yeah, I was about to say. Alright, what a beast. I just gotta wait four minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm curious to see how fast, because like I said, they aren't gonna have anywhere near as many bullets. Okay, the mandem just logged online. This is Pagita. That's literally Bagita. Holy. Oh my god. How did it reach me through? This time around, I had a fob right outside their cave, but it was strange. There was only one of them. I wasn't sure where the other was. Yeah, it tossed out a stego. Ah.
don't have a, I need to get my wife in. If I rush back, okay, I'm gonna have to rush back to base to get a wife in. But do I have, do I have anything that can stop me right now? I have rockets. I can try to kill it both. He's over there. I need to rush back to base. I need to get my poison wife, and that's what I need to get. If I just poison, there's nothing they can do. They'll just insta die every time I shoot that poison ball. I think I'm gonna play around with it for a bit. I was not expecting them to log on, but usually, I mean, yesterday it took them like, I think an hour to an hour and a half past midnight just for them to drop like log off, log off, so. I guess it is somewhat a bit early. I just want, like, this tribe, I mean, I, I don't know, something inside of me feels like I need to raid this. I don't have anything to prove, like, literally, I defended against them multiple times, clapped them multiple times. I, I just don't know why I feel like I need to raid them. Maybe it's this perfect ending that I'm looking for, or this or that. I don't know. Anyway, it's time to add new element, something they won't expect, which is a poison wyvern. They think they can just come with their stegos. I was thinking of nets, nets are expensive. Poison wyvern, literally I can blast them off. And then, after blasting them off, I can just, uh, that's the baby, there we go. I can pick their stegos and drop them, who knows where. They won't know where, I, I drop them and, yeah, they get around the stegos real quick. I just need to get back a Saparito. Do you see what I mean? I don't- I feel like I don't have anything to prove, but I- I just want to raid- I don't know. I just feel like I need to raid these guys. To- maybe it's just that cherry on top ending that I really, really want. Nah, I'm not playing it. That bloodstalker- you- <laughs> that bloodstalker is a freaking dangerous man. I ain't- I ain't trying to mess with that. I'll tell you that much. Nah, nah. <laughs> yo, yo, did you see that thing? <laughs> no. That is something I am trying to avoid. I'll tell you that much. I do not even want to. No. No, 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 no. That, my friends, is what we call death. That is the definition of death right there. He has a cryo. I hope it's Stego. He tosses that Stego, I'm gonna blast him off with my poison wyvern. And then after that, I'm going to pick his Stego. Oh, he's trying to grapple me. Okay, they're gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna do this. And now what are you gonna do? The raid had come to a standstill. It was whoever had more patience. And I think it's clear who had. Like... <laughs> Wait, does it... There wasn't a ride on that, Stego. What just happened?
feel like after the, whatever that last push was that they did. Okay. They just cry sick to Stego. My bad, just cry sick to Stego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, my man. Yo, he ain't getting that promotion. You know that promotion you've been looking for, but hey, you you ain't getting it after that one. <laughs> nah, you ain't getting it. Loss after loss, it seemed like these guys had enough, and I could finally have some alone time with their base. Oh, I think I soaked one. Yeah, I definitely soaked one of the turrets. The shield's also saving my ass. What just happened? Oh, the game? The game thought it was shooting the car and then it like glitched and died, but in reality it's still there. I see. Yeah, like the game thinks that it's hitting the car, but they didn't realize it, that it's actually a friendly turret shooting the car. So the car dies and then all the turrets shoot at me because, you know, it's not line of sighting anymore. And then afterwards the game brings it back to life because it realizes, oh, okay, I see. Man, I think I'm so close. I'm literally soaking the final turrets on the very top. I don't think there's much more after this. I, I do think the car is lighter sighting a fair bit, but I'm hoping to just full and run it all the way. That right there is in fact the last turret that I'm in the base. And I think it is soaked. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, I just got, I got shot by something. I was extremely close, but unfortunately, that time I had along with the Billy's base only lasted so long. What, that can mesh by through? Oh, that's so unfair. I need to get out of here. Oh, we have to pull up some rescue move. Wait, that actually deals hella damage to me. That hit me through. But it hit me out of the stego, which could play to my favor. Nice, we got out. That sticker's gonna die. Oh my god. I literally I had to leave for like five minutes. If I didn't have to leave, I would have been in the base. Oh no way, bro. I quite literally had to leave for five minutes. If I didn't have to leave right then, I would have been in the base. How crazy is that? Oh my god. Now you know what? All or nothing. All or nothing. This is it right here, boys. One last attempt for the books. What you're about to see here. To my knowledge, they only have one turret left. That has ammo. I'm going in with the way May Wing. I'm gonna make a hole in that wall and I'm gonna take everything down. Oh, okay. Yeah, there was still... Okay. <laughs> Never mind. There was still quite a few turrets that uh, had ammo inside. Never mind. Uh, the thing is, like... Ah... Uh, yeah, I guess they still would have gotten on in time. 
and they would have been able to do something about it, yeah, but... Damn, yeah, man, like, what do they... They barely got any sleep, what? They, they, they were only offline for like three hours, or something like that. At least give me another hour with your base and I would have been in. I was literally so close. Oh well. I think that's it boys, you know. We gave it all, all the swipe. We didn't lose or anything. Nothing of the sort. I know I can raid that base. I mean, I've literally proven it. It's just uh, I'm looking for something that I guess it's just not not meant to be. Just not meant to be. That's five in the freaking body. You can't say. I'm not persistent, you cannot say, I've, I've done this twice, I did this yesterday, I did this the day before, it's 5 in the freaking morning right now. If they just wouldn't have logged on, I would have been in that base, for sure. Without a doubt. Yeah, I'ma I'm a call it. Had a ton of fight. Fine. I had a ton of fun this wipe with everything that went on. Everything we've been through was no, nah, it was it was tons of fun. And you know what? I threw out all my raid attempts on these guys. I haven't died not a single time. Even when I was trapped back there, in between the car and and that stego, I still survived. I still pulled through. I have nothing but satisfaction. Enjoy the doubt of this wipe. I just, it just wouldn't be the cherry on top, really, just to take them out. And the, f and the fact that they logged on, ah, that's just unfortunate. That's how it goes sometimes. That's how it goes. I had nothing to prove. From the very first day the Billy and I met, they had faced nothing but death and failure. Me? Nothing but success and glory. Not a single time in this war did I die to the hands of the Billy. Let me say that again. Not a single time in this war did I die to the hands of the Billy. And it's like I said, taking them off the board would have been the cherry on top. However, Staying up multiple nights in a row, up to the early hours of the morning soaking, whilst I was extremely ill, is only so much of my health and sanity I'm willing to sacrifice. Little did I know, there was someone out there who is willing to sacrifice a whole lot more just for me. Don't worry Sinza, I got your back. Always have, always will. R R Raj, is, is that you? Someone did come to the base because 
Well, they didn't really soak or anything. The turret shot like once, but someone was at our base. Uh, also, our farm has been destroyed by a player named Cosmos. It was not destroyed by Goofy Tribe. So I'm hoping that that Cosmos Tribe, whoever they were, they continued the raid and finished it off. At least that's what I want. I just want this tribe gone. And I'm hoping that Cosmos decided to take over the raid after taking out my farm. Oh my god. <laughs> Tribe of Cosmos. Yeah, they're far outside the cave. I'm not sure if I can avoid it, but I'll see. I just need to get confirmation is all. I just need to make sure that, yeah, they are done for. <coughs> Parasol still detecting me. Something tells me that is not the case. Let me check this cloth plant. What to say? This is the middle of life for five hours. Oh no, seven. Oh man, am I really gonna go through all this again? Uh, I, I'm gonna run down that farm, I need to find out. I have to know. And I mean, it seems like they're not. But like, how? How are you not raided after I've literally done everything? Like, I just, I don't know. Oh man. You guys see what's going on here? Like, I literally said yesterday I'm done with this. And, well, technically today, it's just 7 hours, 6 hours later, jeez. But, here I am again, this, this, uh, there has to be something wrong with me, I don't, I don't know, I, I really don't know. Something inside of me just wants to raid this base so bad. It's not even about Begita being chilling, or whatever the other guy's name was. He's like a side cat. he's not even a side cat. <laughs> Yo, that other guy, he isn't even a side character, I, I don't know, I don't know, you know, what, what, what's he about really, if I'll be honest with you. He's, he's definitely not even, a, he, yeah, but it, it's not even about Megita and Big Chili and all those guys, it's, I don't know, it's something else. I think it has something, maybe to do with my pride, or something like that, that, oh yeah, now nah, I, I gotta raid these guys. I think it's I think it's something like that. If I'll be honest. Anyways, we've got a 23k HP Stego. You could probably just toss the Stego and then run straight towards it and then take out the turrets. Here would probably be the place place for that. I better not see them online. Okay, they're still offline. Please tell me they just gave up. Or, or please tell me that maybe Cosmos did actually raid these guys. And then they just didn't kill the Parasaur? That's why it's detecting me? I don't know. I'm gonna find out though. I have to. Because there's seriously something wrong with me. And unless these guys are raided by me, by someone else, it just has to be done. I feel like I'm not gonna stop. And this is just not healthy at all, man. I yeah, it's just, I haven't been to the gym in a minute, then again, I have been sick, but why have I not been recovering? Well, I haven't been recovering because I've been staying up till 5 a.m. every morning, trying to raid these guys. I get so freaking close every time I try. Alright, let's do this. Holy, I didn't put the stick, almost died. Something weird's going on. Holy shit. Yes! They did get raided, but I think... Everything's not aggressive?
No way. Der hat die geredet. Let's go. I can sleep. I can actually sleep. But there's one more thing we have to do. First, let's get into this. That stick is probably gonna die, but I don't care. It's a free fall. Okay, boom. Pop is gone. We gotta do the best part of any raid. The beach run. Let's get our car, or well, should I say, their car. My guess is these guys might have gotten in, but then they died to all of this. So I'm guessing, like, I think the loot may just very well be on these dinos. That's my guess, at least. Yeah, look, this guy's even alive. That's not that. That's the guy that's not even the main character in this whole story. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is bad. I need to start killing cars soon. Oh. Holy, what did I get? Bad to saddle? Yeah, I got some good flag. This was, yeah, 1000 euro flag. This is from a different tribe though. Can I Billy? This is a really insane flag. The only thing keeping me protected right now is that wall. I get rid of it and I'm as good as dead. I bring my combo, I did it. Oh no! The other two cars are in here. Abort! Abort! Yeah, so I'll just take a wild guess. I'm pretty sure those guys didn't make it. Like, that's just a wild, wild guess on my part. I'm pretty sure all the looters could very well be inside these dinos. Okay, but then it gets not that hard to escape. So I guess we'll see. I do need to head back, grab the other car that I got from these guys, and then I'm also going to grab a combo. Alright, that should be weak enough. Oh yeah, I got loot, I got loot. Bunch of resources, electronics, well actually electronics from Tech Data, so don't buy that one. <laughs> but bunch of other resources. Well, that should be everything. Well, almost everything. Oh, that feels good. That sure as hell does feel good. So yeah, I think the guys, they did escape with the loot, but at least we got to do the beat run. And take out all of their teams. We get the last say. In Goofy Tribes. Tribe log. That was rather anticlimactic. I'm pretty sure these are really for the ARB. Like, it's probably one bullet, two bullet. Oh, wait, what? Nah, some of these are for. I wonder. 
Ah, uh, I think these guys must have done a different raiding method to me. I think they must have like rushed the wall or something. But look at all this ARB. <laughs> we do get loot after all. We get rid of these traps. Oh, they would have like. Yeah, let's see if he's just glitched. Night here, that one. Oh, and that one was loaded as well. Perfect. Look at all that ARB. <laughs> In the end, it all worked out. I guess I really did have someone watching over me. Oh man, Raj, you should have seen it. I mean, it was crazy. I was like right up in their base, you know, doing my thing. Oh man, it was insane. This wipe, oh, and, and the way it ended, uh, when I woke up, you wouldn't believe. It's just crazy. I think I have a pretty good idea. Let's make a toast to the end of the billy. To the end of the billy. I want to say a massive thank you to just everyone for the support. I mean, you know, just by watching, leaving a like, subscribing, the nice, lovely comments you guys leave, it, it really does put a smile on my face and I can't ever thank you guys enough. So just thank you so, so much. And then a big thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members who even go the extra mile from just liking and subscribing to becoming a Patreon and YouTube member. Thank you guys just so, so much for that. I really had a fun time making the series. It was an enjoyable one. And I can tell you that there is more and more to come. So until the next time, make sure to leave a like, leave a sub, and I'll see you in the next one.